Hi friends and subscribers. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. So I'm going to be doing another Doctor Who What If. And this one's going to be What If David Tennant was in Series 5. Now of course as we know David Tennant left after the end of time. Which was a two part festive special aired uh, between 2009 and 2010. And he left at the same time as showrunner Russell T. Davis. And then for series five along came new showrunner Stephen Moffat and Matt Smith as the 11th Doctor. But in this uh, scenario, we're going to imagine an alternative universe where David Tennant stayed for series five. Now, this is something that very nearly happened. Because... Although Rusty Davis was already leaving, when Stephen Moffat was taking over, he actually did uh, try and get uh, David Tennant to stay. And he even wrote, I think he even wrote what, what would have happened in the series if David Tennant had stayed. So yeah, he, he, basically the, the series would have began with uh, the TARDIS crashing in Amelia's garden and an injured Tenth Doctor staggers out, but then she helps him back into the TARDIS, and then he flies off again. And then when she's grown up, when she's all grown up, uh, Amy meets the Tenth Doctor again, but he has no memory of of meeting her at the beginning. And then, of course, at the end of the series, we come to realise that the Doctor she met at the beginning was a future version of the Tenth Doctor who was about to regenerate. So, yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's interesting. So for this uh, alternative timeline, I'm going to go with that. So, but how does this affect uh, the 2009 specials? Well, some of the specials wouldn't change too much. I think the next Doctor wouldn't really need to be changed. That would still be the same. Planets of the Dead, I think, would still be exactly the same. I think just without uh, the Tenth Doctor's regeneration being foreshadowed at the end. But apart from that, it wouldn't really change. Uh, Waters of Mars, I think, could still be the same. I think the Time Lord Victorious could have still happened, even if the Tenth Doctor wasn't dying. You know, I think, because... I mean, that's only one of the reasons why the Time Lord Victorious thing happened, because... Not on, well, yeah, because he was, he's facing the end of his life. He knows that something's going to happen to him. But it's also because he was sick of losing everybody he cared about. And also he didn't have a, a companion traveling with him in the waters of Mars. So, yeah, it showed how, you know, he went as far as he did because he didn't have a companion. So I think, yeah, it could have still happened even if he even if his regeneration wasn't foreshadowed. At the end of time would change. I think it's it'd still be mostly the same. We'd still have the return of the Master. We'd still have Wilfred uh, joining the Doctor for one adventure. But I think only, only the ending would be different, as the Tenth Doctor would survive. So, let's say Wilfred doesn't enter the radiation booth and... Yeah, so the Doctor doesn't have to sacrifice himself. And obviously there's no uh, farewell tour with his, for his companions at the end. So yeah, it just, got, it just ends with him continuing his adventures as normal. And then the alternative Series 5 obviously begins with how I've just said, with the, tenth, with the injured Tenth Doctor crashing the TARDIS. So yeah, that's the only thing that would change about the first episode. Uh, yeah, it wouldn't introduce a new Doctor, but we'd have the injured 10th Doctor crashing the TARDIS. Amelia helps him back to the TARDIS, he flies off. When she's grown up, she meets him again. And then pretty much the plot of the episode, I think, would still play out the same. I think we'd still have Prisoner Zero and uh, the Atraxi. But obviously the episode wouldn't be called The Eleventh Hour. I think it would be called something like the Raggedy Doctor, maybe. Like, if like if the Tenth Doctor 
the injured tenth doctor at the beginning had torn clothes, then it could have still been called the Raggedy Doctor, or it could have just been called Prisoner Zero. Prisoner Zero sounds like a appropriate episode title, so I'm I'm I think I'm going to go with that one. And then I think episodes like The Beast Below, Victory of the Daleks, uh, The Time of Angels, Flesh and Stone, and Vampires of Venice, I think would, wouldn't would really change much. Uh, Amy's Choice, um, I think, could have continued the Time Lord Victorious uh, character arc for the Tenth Doctor. So instead of Toby Jones playing... The Dream Lord, maybe David Tennant could play the Dream Lord, so he could play two roles in this episode. Because, of course, this is this wouldn't have been the first time as Patrick Troughton played two roles in Enemy of the World. William Hartnell did the same in The Massacre. So, yeah, because the Dream Lord is obviously, at the end of the episode, it's revealed that he's actually the Doctor, but he's a but he's part of the Doctor's darker side. He's the darker side of the Doctor's personality. And then episodes like uh, The Hungry Earth, Cold Blood, would still be the same as would Vincent and the Doctor and The Lodger. And the two-part finale would be the same right up until the end. Obviously in The Big Bang, would have to end with the Tenth Doctor regenerating. So what would have been the cause for his regeneration? I think maybe the, the getting shot by the Stone Dalek would probably have caused his regeneration. Of course, it, it happened to the 11th Doctor in the actual episode, but it, it didn't cause his regeneration. But let's say in this one it does. It causes the 10th Doctor to regenerate. But he still hasn't... But he's still able to uh, to go into the Pandorica, reboot the universe. And then, of course, he returns to the TARDIS. And then he crashes the TARDIS into, Amel into Amelia's garden, just like what happened at, at the beginning of the first episode. So he sees young Amelia one more time before he get he gets back into the TARDIS and then he begins regenerating. But maybe the regeneration the full regeneration wouldn't have happened on screen. We would have seen the regen the regeneration energy glowing and then maybe the, the screen would have cut to black. And then during Amy and Rory's uh, wedding reception scene when the TARDIS lands it's the brand new TARDIS as for the TARDIS interior changing at the end I think maybe the explosion uh, caused by the cracks in time would have been the reason for the TARDIS reconstructing itself because it has been uh, Stephen Moffat did say that if David Tennant had stayed for series 5 he wouldn't have changed the TARDIS interior he would have kept it the same as it was from Russell D T Davis's era, he would have just waited until a new Doctor came along before changing the TARDIS interior. Same with the uh, the intro, he wouldn't have changed that. He would have just left it the same until a new Doctor came along. But yeah, we see the new TARDIS at the end when it when it materializes during Amy and Rory's wedding, and then the newly regenerated eleventh Doctor steps out and collapses in front of everybody and then the episode ends there and I think Stephen Moffat would still cast Matt Smith uh, as as the 11th Doctor so for the 2010 Christmas special it would have to be something completely different to uh, A Christmas Carol because that episode just it just wouldn't work as a post-regeneration story so it'd have to be something else um I'll let I'll let you. I mean, I like the idea of maybe a return of the Yetis. You know, a Yeti story maybe, or one that sees the return of a cla of a classic monster. But yeah, I don't exactly know what the story would be, but but something, but it had to be something that would work well as a post regeneration story. And then I think series six would still play out the same, and obviously. Uh, Series 7 would still be the same. We'd still have the... And then the 50th anniversary specials would still be the same. Although, I'd say instead of uh, Series 7, instead of Series 7A and B, I'm actually going to have them as two separate series in this alternative timeline. 
So Series 7... So Series 7 would air in 2012, and it would contain all the episodes from Series 7A, plus, of course, there would have to be eight extra episodes added for it to be 13 episodes. Uh, Asylum of the Daleks would still be the series would be the series opener. Angels Ta- Take Manhattan would be the finale. And then you still have The Snowmen as the 2012 Christmas special. And then Series 7B, which aired in 2013... Would now be series eight in this time in this alternative timeline. So the series would begin with Bells of Saint John and end with the name of the Doctor. And plus five extra episodes will be added in for it to be thirteen episodes. And then Matt Smith's era would still end with the time of the Doctor. And then Peter Capaldi's era and Jodie Whittaker's era and the sixtieth anniversary specials and Shooter Gatos era would probably remain unchanged so yeah that's that's what I think would have happened if David Tennant had stayed but the truth is I'm as much as I love David Tennant as the doctor I'm I think I'm I'm kind of glad that he left uh, after the end of time you know I think that it, it just felt like the right time for him to leave and you know, I really love Series 5, and although having David Tennant in Series 5 would have been really interesting to see, I think, yeah, the series was just, it was just tailor-made for, for Matt Smith. I just can't really see any other Doctor in this series. Although there are moments where I can picture David Tennant's Doctor doing what the 11th Doctor was doing in certain episodes, but no, I'm, I'm happy with how things turned out in reality. But yeah, it's just a bit of fun. It's just interesting to do these what if scenarios. But yeah, I hope I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, and thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care.